the fastest and easiest way to create video content that pops. This is my eight part video series and this is video number five and it starts inside Adobe Firefly video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create stunning, captivating eye candy videos with Adobe Firefly. It takes seconds from a thought, a type, and a few clicks. And for that, we gotta switch things up, slow the roll, and bring it in. Boom, I love movie magic. <laughs> All right, we're bringing it in now that we've gotten to know each other over this series. I wanna start off this video with some housekeeping. And the first one is Adobe does not train off users content. All of what you're about to see and what we're gonna to generate together is ready to use. And one more thing, if you can give us a thumbs up on this video, comment on your favorite part or consider subscribing, that would help so much. So what is Adobe Firefly? Adobe Firefly empowers creators by turning our ideas into reality exactly as we envision. So let's tap in together and start exploring. Start by going to firefly.adobe.com. Immediately you're welcomed with a giant search bar. If you start scrolling down, you can see the many ways that it's incorporated from images to motion, generative fill or templates. There's even a gallery to get inspiration from. Let's try something fun off the top of my head. Um, here we go. Boston Terrier taking a bath cartoon style. All right, it's typed in, we're gonna hit generate. In seconds, you get four options. You can edit them, generate similar, or just keep adding to them. You can also take them to other Adobe applications. All right, I love this. They're so squishy, but let's just adjust this one more time. So at the bottom, I'm just gonna adjust the new prompt. Let's fine tune this a little bit more. So Boston Terrier puppy taking a bath in a yellow bathroom, relaxing, drinking a soda with a pink straw. Cartoon style with bubbles and smiling. We're gonna click generate, and you're gonna see from what it was to what it's gonna be. These are the best. I love the top right. You can hover over them, and you can start seeing all the tools that pop up. You can upscale, you can edit, you can put generative fill, you can generate similar, take it over to Adobe Express and start adding text, motion. It's crazy cool. Okay, so that's the basics. Let's go to the left-hand side where it says general settings. You can choose your aspect ratio. There's things like fast mode that just lightning speed composition if you want it in a certain perspective, style if you want it like a certain way. So if you want it to look like that or you want it to look like this, you have the ability. Let's make this come even more alive with Adobe Firefly video. At the time of this recording, what I'm about to show you is still in beta. However, you can sign up to the waitlist and I suggest you head over there right now. Here's the website. So we're on firefly.adobe.com and we're gonna scroll down to the video section. Think about pitching ideas that already bring life. Your kids' school projects are enhanced. You operate a small business and need content to promote. Family functions, holidays, celebration, or just for fun to play. Or presentations for work. The possibilities are absolutely endless. So this is the layout. Going from Firefly photo to video, it's very similar. So let's start with the general settings on the left. Right now they only offer widescreen 16 by nine and it's 24 frames a second. Shot size refers to how much of the subject and its surroundings are visible in the frame. Camera angle is pretty straightforward. So we have zoom in, we have zoom out, move right, move left, tilt up, we got tilt down. Just having that miniature hover and playback, it just starts building thought starters. And then at the very bottom, we have advanced settings, which is a seed. Let me explain real quick. A seed acts as a starting point for generating video. Essentially, a seed is a custom tailored starting point that shapes the final video output. And I'll show you that in one second. What I love about this platform is that it's just, it's welcoming, inviting, and it looks easy, and it is easy. That's what keeps the magic so alive. So let's craft a prompt and make a video together. All right, so let's, uh, let's think. A cozy winter cabin in smoke curling from the comma, surrounded, gentle, falling snow, flakes uh, in a slow zoom. We're not gonna put any adjustments on, just text this time. Let's hit generate. There's these fun little creatures that pop up. They make it super fun. And then if you look on the bottom, you'll start seeing a loading circle. It doesn't take very long, maybe 30 seconds at the very most. And if you haven't noticed, we're all inside the browser with no application installed. The playback is the best part because you instantly get the result. Not bad, not bad. Okay, okay, we can tweak that. If you notice, we're gonna scroll to the advanced settings. A seed was generated just by itself. We can adjust those numbers and start playing around with it. Let's refine it by taking this photo of exactly what I was thinking. It's this cabin in the woods in a specific way that I see it. So I'm gonna drag and drop this image into the image reference. I'm gonna go over to click generate. I'm gonna keep the seed settings the exact same. It's just, I want it like my image because this is exactly what I was thinking. Boom, it's 
ready to go. It's crazy because when you say cozy cabin with snowflakes falling, it's kind of open for any interpretation. It's kind of vague when you really think about it. My pro tip for crafting a prompt is to get very detailed and specific. Slow zoom, you can even add 50 millimeter lens in here. Cinematic, realism, cartoon. I encourage you to think and start getting creative with it. And that's what's so fun about it. This one is totally usable. I'm gonna go to the top and click download right to my desktop. Now let's go adjust the seed. I'm gonna use 43, 43, 43. Gonna go over, use the same reference image, same prompt, and we're gonna click generate. That's crazy, that little adjustment. Here's the two clips side by side. What's different about them? Again, just a reminder, this was generated by a sentence. So you can play around with that. All right, let's try something completely different. An underwater scene with a glowing jelly fish, pools of colorful fish, swimming, comma, with soft light rays. I've been using this for quite some time so I know how detail oriented to get. At first, you can totally write car driving down a road. But just remember, is that a paved road, a dirt road? Are there overpasses? Is it a sunny day, blue sky? So there's so many different factors to come in. When I first stepped into it, it was so funny because it was just like, make this. And it was like, well, here you go. And it's like, no, I want it. So you start adjusting and that mental muscle memory just starts working in this way. I've generated everything from landscapes to time lapses to fun claymation videos. Get detailed and think on it and just keep adding and updating your prompts. A close up time lapse of a rosebud slowly opening. Boom. It's crazy because you can create cinematic shots. Boom. To adventurous landscapes. Boom. Opening titles for scenes. Boom. Shots that you can't even film. Boom. Elements like lens flares. Boom. Visual effects elements like fire. Boom. Creatures and animals that come alive. Boom. To fun animations of words. To fun little videos that you can create with your friends and family. Just speaking on the B-roll, getting this close to a deer or a volcano, it gives you access to places that you could never go before. And all of this is created in seconds. I wanna take a moment to brainstorm on where these videos can be used. Business owners, this is huge. You can now generate ads for whatever sale that you have going on. Social media content for your networks. In-store signage like banners, looping TVs, menus at your restaurant. Bring the elevated experience to your services, products, and storefront including websites. Parents, it's healthy screen time and time together. Look at this hilarious clip I made. Afterwards, together, my son and I were searching for dinos the rest of the afternoon, it's adding fun little elements to our videos. There are so many ways to use this. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. This is the Adobe Firefly video model. Be sure to sign up on the wait list. The link is right here. And thank you guys for learning, connecting, watching, and just being rad. And as always, later.